In this tip of the week, we will look at creating appointment groups within the My Classes calendar. As an instructor, appointment groups create a block of time where students can meet with you, such as for office hours or to schedule presentation times. To set up scheduling options, go to the calendar from the global navigation menu. Before you create an appointment group, you will want to make sure that the course you want the assignment group attached to has the course calendar selected under your calendar list. Otherwise, it will not show up in your list of available calendars when you are creating the appointment group. When you have chosen specific calendars to make available, click the plus button in the top menu. Then select the appointment group tab. Here, you can add the name for the group and the location, which may be the classroom if it's for a presentation time, or your office if it's for office hours. Then select the calendar you want this appointment group to be associated with. Once again, the list of available calendars in this drop-down menu will be based off of the course calendars that you have enabled from the overall calendar menu. You have the option to have students sign up in groups by checking the box next to the Have Students Sign Up in Groups option. For this example, we will have students sign up individually for an office hour consultation. In the date field, enter the date of the appointment and a time range. Pay attention to whether it's adding AM or PM to the end of your time range so that you don't accidentally set up a 2 AM appointment. You can split the time range into multiple time slots by entering the division time into the field. For instance, if you wanted to create 15 minute meetings, you will change your meeting times here. For the system to create the time slots, press go. Once the time range has been divided, this cannot be undone unless you manually delete all offerings and set up the date ranges again. If you need to remove an appointment time, click the X next to the time range. You can limit how many users sign up for a time slot by clicking the checkbox and then designating how many students can sign up for each time slot. Put a 1 here if you only want to allow one user per time slot because it's a private consultation. To make appointment details visible to students in the course, click the checkbox next to Allow Students to See Who Has Signed Up for Time Slots. Selecting this option will allow students to see who has reserved a time slot as well as any comments that student left with their appointment. Keep this box unchecked if you want to maintain appointment privacy. If you want to limit how many slots a person can sign up for, check the limit participants to attend X amount of appointments. In this case, I just want each participant to sign up for one time slot. Finally, you can add details about the appointment group if you choose to. Press Publish and the students will be able to sign up for appointments. All time slots will show up on your calendar immediately as placeholders, as long as you keep that specific course calendar enabled on your calendar list. The unreserved time slots will be faded and the appointment details will identify the appointment as unreserved. When a student has signed up for an appointment, the color will change from faded to normal, and the appointment details will identify which student reserved the time slot. You can click on any reserved or unreserved appointment time to see the Group Details button. You can also find the Group Details button from the Agenda view. When you click on the Group Details button, you will be taken back into the assignment group to make changes, such as adding more dates and times for appointment availability. However, you will notice that you cannot edit or delete existing time slots once you have published your appointment group. You can only add to them. To delete a time slot, you will have to click on the available appointment from your agenda or from your calendar and press delete from there. Thank you for watching this tip of the week. For more information, please refer to the following guides.